Now, is that a picture we would want in a yearbook awards? God, no. So, rule number 59. No toast. Oh. Welcome, butts, one and all, to yet another horrifying episode of the Chelsea Dagger vlog. Now, this week, instead of making ice cream in a bag or talking about barf or actually barfing, we're going to be doing something that might be useful to your life. It's amazing, and it wasn't my idea, obviously, because I do not come up with productive, good ideas. This idea was invented by Sparketer Emily Winter, who said, Chelsea Dagger, because everyone calls me by both my first and last name, I formally requested that they do this, Chelsea Dagger, why don't you do a video about how to take a good selfie so the kids can send in awesome selfies for the yearbook awards? And I was like, good God, Winter, that's a phenomenal idea. Because when I talk in the office, I only talk like Batman mixed with Sean Connery because it's just really cool. It makes everybody like me way more. Anyways, so the purpose of today's video is to teach you guys um, a, what a selfie is, I guess. If you don't know what a selfie is, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you do not have access to the internet, in which case I'm not sure how you're watching this video right now, unless you are using a potato satellite and you're bouncing a signal off of a, another satellite and the potatoes are sending, you know, science is happening and that's how you're watching this video, in which case... I commend you, sir, because that is some complicated, fancy NASA level stuff. Um, if you already know what a selfie is, like I expect every one of you does, then we can move on to how to take a great selfie. Because taking a great selfie is the single most important aspect of the yearbook awards, aside from the written submission and also from following the rules and also from making sure I myself don't enter because I've been forbidden because I work for the company but I can guarantee I'm gonna find a way around it. Loophole. So today we're gonna to cover how to take the best possible selfie. Now I'm gonna be um, filming this and also shooting my selfies on my laptop. If you don't have a laptop that takes pictures, you can use your phone. A lot of people just use their phones. So almost all of the rules are gonna be the same, except if you have a phone, you're gonna to have to do all of this backward and then divide it by seven. And then you have a remainder of three, so you're gonna to have to get the potato satellite and then you're gonna have to fax it to yourself, and then you're gonna have to take the colors out. So it's super easy if you have a phone. I was only kidding, if you have a phone, it's exactly the same, stop hyperventilating. All right, so the first rule of taking a really good selfie is you sort of have to know the angles of your face and know which features you really like and want to accentuate, and also which features you're like, eh, maybe not super keen to have those blown up on film. So for example, for myself, I have um, a face that can very easily turn into a double chin face if I just tilt my chin the wrong way. So let's try the wrong way and then the right way. This would be an example of the wrong way. It is absolutely terrifying that I can look that similar to Java the Hutt, but I'm not going to hold it against myself because, hey, future Halloween costume idea. Um, if we're going to take a good selfie, we're going to say, Chelsea, you've got a fantastic forehead and really good eyes and your mouth is big so we're going to try to highlight those things i'm just going to angle my chin up and then angle it down a little and then i'm just going to smile it's as easy as that ready one two two and a half three bam i look like giselle the supermodel okay so it's as easy as that that's the first step get to know your face get to know your angles and you can take as many of these as you want, you know, just delete 500 bad ones. I have deleted a lot of selfies today <laughs> just to make you this video. So thank goodness we're not drawing these selfies on paper because can you imagine the waste and the trees we'd be killing? Um, speaking of paper, segue, one of the yearbook award categories this year is craftiest. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm pretty crafty. I have right here a drawing I did of Chris Hemsworth. I did it in under a minute. I've never taken a day of drawing lessons and I don't want you guys to freak out, but I want you guys to look at this and then tell me that I wouldn't totally dominate the crafty contest. All right, ready? Are you ready? Now, me showing off my immense crafting talents actually does have a purpose beyond just uh, convincing everyone that I'm the greatest artiste that ever has or ever will live. 
And that is that this year in the Yearbook Awards, there's a lot of categories like craftiest or nerdiest nerd or sparkliest sparkler where you might want to have a prop. Like you might need a drawing or you might need um, a calculator or something like that. If you're taking a picture like that, you have to make sure your face is also in it. Pour a hemplo. This is a small blanket I crafted for a small gnome or a small elf or a small dog. So if I'm showing this off for craftiest crafter, I figure out which angle looks best, and then I snap a pic. So now that we know how to incorporate props, let's talk about how not to incorporate props. Um, one example might be if your crafty talent is arranging flowers. That's a really good crafty talent and I would love to have it. However, doing this does not show that you're good at arranging flowers. If anything, it shows that you have sort of a weird overbite. And also you shouldn't put this in your mouth because you got it at Hobby Lobby and God knows who's been touching it. So don't use your props like that. Use your props sensibly and thoughtfully and to enhance your selfie. All right, I think my selfies are actually getting worse, but that's beside the point. Let's review what we've learned so far. We learned get to know your best angles and your best features so you know what to accentuate and what to disguise. We learned that you should not use props like an idiot. We learned that for the yearbook awards, each submission has to have your face in it. That's like a hundred things already. It's only been, what, four hours that we've been watching this video. So I think it's going pretty well. So to review, I, Chelsea Dagger, clearly deserve to win each and every category in this year's yearbook awards. However, due to circumstances beyond my control, I am not allowed to enter, which means you guys have a chance. You guys have a real shot at winning that $300 Visa gift card, which you could spend on who knows how many cupcakes, which I expect to receive at least 50% of because of this tutorial. But what I'm saying is, just listen to what I'm telling you and take a really fantastic selfie. You know, I didn't knit this tiny elf blanket so that you guys could just take terrible selfies willy-nilly. I'm, I'm really counting on you guys to take the best selfies that you've ever taken or that you've ever seen. And I know that this is gonna be the greatest yearbook awards in the history of all yearbook awards. If you guys have any really good selfie tips and you've taken like many, many beautiful selfies and you would like to share your knowledge with the rest of the sparklers, please hit the comments. I'll be hanging out down there. It's me and Domo, you know, just playing some badminton, typing in all caps, doing our thing. So come chill with me, come chillax. I'll be saying stuff like chillax all day, every day, here all week. And I will see you again this time next week for yet another episode of lessons you can learn in your life that will be useful to you. Also titled the Chelsea Dagger vlog. Mwah. Okay, another one I just thought of that you really can't beat or go wrong with is if you've got puppies around, dude, use the puppies in your selfie. It's foolproof. More puppies equals better selfie. Just as many puppies as you can pile on. Let me show you an example. Do I not look like 300% more attractive than I just did? Thanks to this guy. Selfies galore. Really killing it here. She's a born model. Can't get her to pause long enough to take a picture. There we go. That's a good angle.